Hey, check it out. So we're going to look at some projectors online, try and find the perfect projector for your art. And I've created a previous video on five things you should look for when looking for a projector for your art. So we'll be going over those five things while we look for projectors. As you can see back here, we have the projector that I use. And I created another video looking at this particular model and seeing how there's other brands. I have on my computer here another brand Kodak that sells this exact model as you can see and the price here is two hundred dollars now there are probably better deals out there but if you have the money it's available so you can get this one and the five things the first thing is that I look for is a DLP the D DLP technology by Texas Instruments that allows it to project at any distance so right here this close it could project and you could focus that close now most other projectors won't be able to do that they'll have to be set back far away like maybe several meter meters before it becomes in focus and because of that you'll end up with a large image and it might be too big for your art canvas or whatever you're working on so being able to position it at any distance is good and that's why I choose DLP projectors now let's go and look online at other projectors as you can see here we have a bunch of projectors listed that I just I just searched for a projector on Amazon and it gives me all these projectors but these aren't the projectors that you want because they're big and bulky they require being like plugged in and that sort of thing so another requirement that I look for is that it needs to have a rechargeable internal battery so that it doesn't need to be tethered to anything okay and the third thing I look for is a micro SD card slot to transfer images to it so that you can display images and that sort of thing okay because otherwise you'd have to use like an HDMI cable and again that would be that would cause it to limit where you could place it because it would be tethered to a cable and be limited by the length of the cable okay so other than that it needs physical buttons and also a tripod mount so that you could mount it wherever you want like on a tripod or anything else like some armature and things like that and I've showed examples in previous videos on how to set things up okay so this projector that I have has all five of those things and that's why it makes it really good to project images and then trace it over for your artwork and that sort of thing so let's look let's browse around and try and see what's available here so there are some things you can do to kind of narrow down your selection uh, one thing you can search for is portable projectors portable projectors see if that helps okay so now you notice this one right here the ape man it's a mini portable projector video DLP pocket projector okay and you could you notice there's different terms like pocket projector um, mini projector DLP projector and you could search for those terms now let's take a look at this one it has the DLP technology that's one thing it has let's take a look it has an internal battery I believe does it have an internal battery yeah rechargeable battery and that seems to or it might have a tripod mount yeah it has a tripod mount you can see it in the image there there's this tripod attached to it but it doesn't look like it has a micro SD card slot so let's see where are the specifications this is what you do you have to check the specifications and see if it has things like that I don't think it has one so I 
I'm not seeing it listed and that's one thing you can do is kind of check the images see if there's anything check the inputs but no it doesn't look like it so I would not get this one because it doesn't have the card slot and I don't think it has physical buttons either so you'd require a remote or require it being attached via HDMI cable and using your mouse on a computer and so like it, kind of, it that puts some limits onto it it might be wireless but you can't guarantee the compatibility with your computer and that sort of thing because some some projectors you could like wirelessly um, cast the image from your computer onto the projector but I've tried that before and it doesn't work I didn't get it to work I tried I tried to get it to work but I couldn't get it to work so there could be like compatibility issues and that sort of thing involved uh, preventing you from doing that so let's look at some other options let's take a look at this one right here this is the Akaso Pico projector mini projector and as you can see it has some buttons physical buttons on the side so that's good that's one thing has DLP technology what else it probably has a tripod mount and I'm sure it has a rechargeable battery in there yeah rechargeable battery has a tripod mount so that's four things does it have micro SD card yes it does you can see it listed right here so that's good so this this one passes all five of those okay it has DLP technology has a card slot has physical buttons it has a tripod mount and a rechargeable battery okay now another thing you would want to check is whether it can display images I'm pretty sure it can, I, I'm pretty sure it would be able to because it has a, if it has a card slot then it's expecting various uh, file formats and physical buttons suggests that it has like a menu system to go through and select the files and that sort of thing but uh, if you're not sure you could just uh, get the product name in this case the Pico projector AXO mini portable projector I guess that's what it's called notice it's two hundred dollars that might be a little expensive but it's up to you whether, whether you have the money it's in stock so if you want it right now that sort of thing um, you could search for the name and then type in like manual on the end of it and then usually you can find a manual for it let's see here right here here's the manual I think yeah it looks like it and you could also see other diagrams and specifications you see the um, card slot I'm pretty sure that's card slot right here yep so this is another way to check if it has all of those five specif specifications or features this is another way of checking it by going to the manual that you can find online for pretty much any projector if it's one that's available that sort of thing so there it is micro SD card port and buttons forward backward that sort of thing you could all see what else it comes with a remote and that sort of thing uh, in the manual you could see like the menu system and things like that how to use it media library here see it lists the photo video and music so it supports photos so that's good and it also gives you the format picture format jpeg png bmp that's usually the you know the that's what you'd expect to get from your your system so here what else is there so that covers covers that part uh, for this one so that one if you want that one that's good 
let's hit back button and keep looking see what other options there are now another thing you can do is go to eBay maybe you'll you could find um, cheaper prices there for items that are being auctioned off and you can try to get stuff for like lower prices but usually that requires some patience and also you have to be a little careful on uh, choosing stuff because uh, so, some stuff from China I don't know I wouldn't really trust stuff that's from China because it takes like over a month to ship and you're not really sure if they're gonna ship it ship it or if something strange is gonna ha gonna happen because I've heard of like scams and things on eBay so you have to be careful of that so you want to make sure that um, it looks authentic and that sort of thing like for instance I searched for a projector and this one right here popped up and looks pretty authentic to me because it has a, a unique photo of the product and it looks like someone uh, actually took the photo it's not just like something they have a screenshot of a, a product image that they got somewhere online this one's a Sony 105 lumen WVGA DLP Pico projector so let's check this one um, starting bid is $100 so again it's kind of expensive probably because it's Sony but you can see the projector there and sometimes they don't list like the specifications that it has so you'd have to do like your own research on it and figure out what it has so you could uh, let's see it says Sony 105 we can just copy this and then paste it into Google, do a search on that, see if anything comes up. Yeah, it looks like it comes up. We click somewhere that has the specifications. This is what it looks like looks like. As you can see it retails for four hundred dollars. What? That's that's expensive in my opinion. But you can get it on eBay, it's listed for a hundred, starting bid it. But you know, you know how that goes. So let's take a look, see if it has all the features that we need for projector. Now, I'm not seeing a micro SD card slot anywhere. So I don't think this one, oh, well, no, yeah, I don't. Yeah, it, it doesn't pass it, because it doesn't have a micro SD card slot. see that's the front and side and that's the other side it doesn't have any other ports on it unless it's, they're not showing the back end of it though let's see here has a tripod mount how come they're not showing the back end <laughs> that's what I don't like about like the product images they, they only show you like the one side of the thing and it's like a, okay maybe they have a manual as well let's search for the manual sometimes it's better just to search for the manual get there get all the information I don't know exactly which one it is. Anyways, let's keep looking and see what other projectors there are. That one's kind of expensive anyways. Here is the Aodin Smart Mobile DLP mini projector it's a DLP projector it's, it's it's again it's kind of expensive from Japan huh. it, has, it has a tripod mount rechargeable battery I'm pretty sure Looks like it has 
it says RAM and ROM. Uh, I don't see a card slot. I don't think it has a card. Oh, wait, maybe it does. Come on, zoom in. <laughs> Anyways, let's keep looking. That probably is okay. Oh wait, does it have buttons? Physical buttons? I think it does. Yeah, it has buttons on top of it. Yeah, so I think it has all all five features. Now for the thing with like micro projectors, like the smaller they are, the more they're seen as being like kind of premium because it's all a portable and nice and that sort of thing so there's usually like extra cost to that with the with other big bulky projectors uh, you might not have that but then again these big bulky projectors are designed to project from far away with like a huge screen because when you think about projectors that's what people want they want to be able to have like this big screen and have it bright and that sort of thing but for artwork that's not exactly necessary and also the bigger it is the more difficult it becomes to kind of uh, mount mounted in any position that you want so that's why you want like something pocket sized here's a mirror mirror I don't think those are any good though. They usually don't have a micro SD card slot. And also I think they sometimes require like an activation code. And if you buy it on eBay you might not might not get the activation code. So let's check check another check some of these others out. These are kind of expensive. What about this one. This one's $150. Magnasonic. It has DLP technology. It shows a couple buttons, but uh, I don't know about that. It's just plus and minus. What do those do? It has a tripod mount. Rechargeable battery. Yeah, it doesn't. I don't think this one has a micro SD card slot. So that suggests that it probably doesn't have a menu system for files. So it's probably just meant for like video through like HDMI cable. What about. Hmm. Wonder what about a cube pico projector? Let's see what that does. I've showed you I've showed you in a previous video how you could find this model with different brandings on it. Like for example, this Tenker S6. It's basically the same looking projector. Looks exactly the same. Has the same features. Says the DLP technology has the tripod mount, has micro SD card slot, has all of it. Wireless transmission, but I wasn't able to get that to work on mine, so depends. Maybe it's meant for like mobile phones and that sort of thing, tablets. I was trying to do it with my computer and I wasn't able to get it to work so so this one would probably well this, this one definitely works you can buy it new for two hundred and nineteen dollars or buy used for hundred and forty eight dollars so I mean 
you can do that if you have the money it's kind of expensive in my opinion but you can look on eBay see if there's anything cheaper for example tinker projector tinker and here's one hundred and forty nine dollars or best offer free shipping Here's another one, $289. So, also let's take a look, see if they're in the sold items to get an idea as what sold in the past. So these are the ones that sold in the past. Let's go back. Pocket projector. You could also put a price limit on it to filter your results. Here's one AAXA technology. I'm pretty sure this one has all features. I've seen this one before. You could see, um, let's see here. It has the buttons, it has the technology, it has the tripod mount. But does it has does it have a micro SD card slot? That's the question. What is that? TF TF card. So yeah, it has a card slot. Pretty sure that's what it says there. <laughs> it's kind of difficult to read it. TF something. But I'm pretty sure that's what it is. TF card. So it has a micro SD card. I think that's what it is. <laughs> So this one should work, and that's $160. So you can get better deals than that. You just have to be patient and look and kind of browse. Sometimes it might take like a month of just browsing every day, every week, just checking to see what's listed. Here's a... Here's a Samsung. Oh, this is sixty-five dollars. Has a touch touch screen buttons on top, I believe. Has the does it have the? I don't know if that's DLP. Has a micro S, Has an SD card slot. Is that micro or just normal? So that might depend, you know. And that might differ depending on things. It could be just normal size or micro size. Oh yeah, DLP technology. There's the logo for that. So this is all right. Has a tripod mount down there. And what else? Does it have a a battery? This unit powers up. Don't have the cables to fully test this item. The battery is low. <laughs> the battery is low. What does that mean? So I mean, this might be an option. It's only sixty-five dollars. It has all five things that you would want. It looks a little bulkier than the other options, but hey, you know, if it works, it works. You just have to make sure to get the right cables and that sort of thing. Also, um, oh, it says four parts are not working. So maybe there's an issue with this, with the low battery. So you have to read the description and see what, what, uh, <clears throat> what's wrong with it, if it's okay, if it's a new, uh, new item or used item, that sort of thing. 
So you gotta do your research and that sort of thing. Don't just jump on the first thing that you find and then and then find out something's wrong with it and that sort of thing. Here's a Brookstone pocket projector. I don't think these come with micro SD slots. Usually the Brookstone ones require you to hook a cable to it. Let's just check. And you're going to check the manual just to make sure. I don't think it has a micro SD card slot, but let's take a look. I don't think this is the same one, is it? Yeah, that's not the one. Anyways. Let's try limiting the price. Projector 3M pocket projector. It's pre-owned. Has buttons. Has a tripod mount. It's a bit old. Keep looking, keep looking, see what you find. It's kind of it's even though it it takes a while. It's also kind of fun to kind of try and find something. Because it's kind of like you're exploring, and there's always a chance that you might find something really good. You just have to keep checking back every once in a while, see if if something new shows up. Here's the Riff Cube. I don't believe these have a micro SD port on them. But that's something you'd have to search for. Search for the manual to make sure you can look at all the features and things that it would have. Here is DLP Wi Fi projector has physical buttons on it wait a second what's going on here I don't know sometimes they list like multiple things on the same listing and it gives the wrong price for stuff let's check Amazon let's put a maximum of $50 see what what we get Here is a Pico projector. It doesn't look like one. No, I don't think this one's any good. I would stay away, stay away from these types of projectors. These two, nah. because it doesn't use DLP, so the light would probably be really dim and you'd have to set it far back so it's like it's pointless to get those See on the uh, sold items, we'll get a better idea for what you can get. For instance, 
This one sold for $38, parts only. So this one probably doesn't even work. Okay, let's forget that, because it doesn't even work. The Riff Cube doesn't have any buttons on it, so you need a remote for that. Sometimes they don't come with a remote if you buy it off eBay. But this one is new, a new Riff. If you want to use a remote, this one was sold for $50 and basically has everything that you need. The Rift Cube seems like a popular projector people want. But you just have to keep that in mind. It uses a remote and has a weird tripod mount to it. Doesn't doesn't have buttons. So does it even have a card slot? I'm pretty sure it does. Let's just check. It might might not even have a card slot. <laughs> oh wait, yeah, it does. It's right there. Micro SD card slot. So yeah, it's okay. You you just have to use a remote to use it wirelessly, basically. So what else is there? There is, uh, man, there's a lot of Rift cubes. <laughs> the Insignia cube sold for $30, $29. Basically the same sort of thing. Does it have a card slot though? Check it out. This one sold for thirty-nine dollars. I don't know if it has a card slot. I guess we can check online. Let's see here. But if you wait a while, you might find one of these on eBay that you can get. So that's the thing. Look at the sold listings to get an idea as to what has been available and could be available. Yeah, it doesn't have a card slot. So I wouldn't get that one because it requires it to be tethered. Unless they didn't list it. Anyways, let's continue. Oh, those are kind of cool. What are those? Um, <laughs> anyways, I think that gives you a good idea as to like how to find the right projector. Sometimes they give you suggestions for things when you click on certain certain uh, projectors. As you can see, this one has everything. It has the card slot right there on the side. It has buttons, DLP technology, tripod mount, rechargeable battery, and $169. You can get that for. Check the reviews, things like that, just to make sure everything's good, that sort of thing. You have this other one, $129. Looks like it has a touch screen buttons, rechargeable battery. Looks like it has DLP technology. 
You can usually tell by the small lens. What's that on the back? Where's the card slot? Does it have a card slot? Yep, micro TF card right there. It's on the other side of it. But it has it listed. So it has all five things. $129. That's pretty good. Image size 8, 8 inches, 250 inches. Has a good range of size to it. So this, this is a good option as well. $130, $129. Free shipping. It's in stock. Looks like a good choice to me. So yeah, I think that's a good uh, example of how to look for projectors. If you have any questions or suggestions, that sort of thing, leave a comment and I'll get back to you. And yeah, you can check out my other videos on projectors and what to look for in them. Also demonstrations of using this projector to create art, tracing images, that sort of thing. So yeah, check it out. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. These things will help convince YouTube to push this channel. If you'd like to support us in other ways, you can make a donation at our Patreon page by going to tracingmasterpieces.com slash support for more information. I'd like to thank This Is Abusive for the $20 contribution. I'd also like to thank Zarknark for their $10 contributions. And I'd also like to thank my $5 contributors as well. And lastly, if you'd like to join our Discord server, you can go to tracingmasterpieces.com slash discord.